I'm Matt Bichard with REIT.com, and for this edition of CEO Spotlight, I'm joined by Denny Oklack, the Chairman and CEO of Duke Realty Corporation. So Denny, your company's undertaken an effort to reposition its portfolio. Can you give us an update on to how that stands? Well, we've made great progress. Uh, we started out about three years ago trying to uh, revamp our portfolio to be 60% industrial, a 25% suburban office, and 15% medical office. And at the time, we were about 55% suburban office, so we had a long way to go. Well, the good news is, uh, with a lot of things that we've done, uh, we're now down to about 30% on suburban office. Uh, we're at about 53 or 54% bulk industrial, and we're at our 15% of medical office building target. So we've really done uh, very well on this. And fortunately, we've been able to execute uh, by doing both acquisitions and dispositions as well as development. So the timing has worked out well for us. So we're very pleased. We've got just a little bit more uh, to go to hit our target, which we said we'd accomplish in 2013, and I think we're on track to do that. Well, now, as, as, as if that didn't make you busy enough, you've also been, been at hard at work in terms of doing work on the balance sheet. Um, how does that stand? Is that where you want it as well? Well, we're, we've made great progress. Uh, we have a little bit further to go on the balance sheet side to hit our targets again that we set out for 2013. Uh, but we've made some real progress this year. Uh, we've accessed the capital market and done about $600 million of unsecured debt at historically low interest rates for us. The most recent one was a $300 million offering that we did at about 3.93% uh, back in September. So very fa favorable interest rates. We've also accessed uh, the, the common equity market through our ATM or at the market program and have raised over 200 million of common equity at very favorable pricing again. So we're making good progress and I think we'll beat again to our targets next year. And, and Duke has a, a history of development. What's your current development pipeline like? Well, the pipelines is really as large as it's been in about three or four years now, uh, really since the economic downturn. Um, for the last three years, for 2009 through 2011, we had only averaged about $175 million of new development starts. So far through the first three quarters of this year, uh, we're at about $375 million to start, so significantly better. That's a huge part of our business, and it's, it's really going well. Um, it's, uh, the, the development is concentrated in the MOB business again. A big part of it is, uh, is in medical office, on-campus facilities that are generally 100% leased by the hospitals. And then the second part today is mostly on the bulk industrial. Uh, some build a suit, some tenant expansions, as well as uh, our first time in a few years that we started some bulk industrial uh, development in just a few limited markets. And uh, obviously, as you mentioned, there, there was almost no new development for, for several years, and, and now it's starting to ramp up. W how long until you kind of fill up that, that pent-up demand? Well, again, I think the demand has come back, but it's still not as strong as it would normally be that we'd expect in a booming economy here, um, especially on the industrial side. So I think it's still uh, another year or two before the economy uh, really gets back into that 3 to 4% GDP growth, and then I think you'll see a lot of activity from us on the bulk industrial side. Great. Well, Denny, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.